Hi Star Family, Marissa here. Not even gonna try with an intro because I always get real weird and funky <laughs> when I try to do something like fun or just, I don't know. I'm just gonna get into the video and uh, you know, I'm sitting here, I just took a break from typing out my December newsletter that's gonna go out today and oh, I'm getting goosebumps again. Just because it's crazy, like when you first start out your spiritual path and you start doing all your research and you know, you can feel through your inner truth detector all of the validity of the possibility of how life can be experienced and how life can be lived. And you know, a part of us really wants to believe it, right? A part of us just so deeply craves and desires the fact that like we can live heaven on earth and it can be really good and we can enjoy it no matter what what's happening like we can just be so tuned into our source codes and so connected to our higher self mm -hmm. and to the angelic realms that regardless of what's happening we can just be so good and supported and we want to believe that right but because it's like still so in the beginning it's like we have to take someone else's word for it and there's nothing wrong with that. There is nothing wrong with that. And even if you've been on your path for years, you still might be in that place of like needing those little confirmations and those little, you know, those reminders that of what is our birthright, of what is possible. And I'll never forget, and I included this in the newsletter, but you know, for most of you guys who are drawn to this channel, who were here in the very beginning, like, you know, this channel was created um, where I was just making Bentinho clips, uh, videos of, you know, Bentinho's work. And if you're not familiar with his work, he's just an incredibly advanced, um, highly, highly advanced, beautiful soul incarnate on this planet at this time. And I'll never forget, like, one of the first times we talked on the phone, like, just one-on-one, -on -one, and <laughs> I was, like, going through so many upgrades and shifts at once, you guys. Like, so... There was just like, it was like one integration or one activation after another. And so my whole paradigms were starting to shift of like, you know, just confirming the levels that I was operating at and the amount of tra uh, bleh, trust and faith that I had began to embody and, and the amount of confidence and the amount of soul expression I was allowing to come through. And just having those types of confirmations, you know, various confirmations, and the, including, you know, being able to work with him on, on several levels was pretty big. And so <laughs> I'll never forget just, you know, I was going through kind of like this confusing time and lots of activations at the same time and like having to deal with all of those doubts and all of the like, oh my gosh, it's actually happening. Like, okay, this is what I've been like wanting to happen, but it's actually happening. And just like the integration from that and just like uh, reassimilating your energetic field to support that paradigm, right? And I remember just asking him, like, can it, can it really all be good all of the time? Like, can it really be good all the time? And without hesitating, he was like, absolutely, it can be. Of course it can be. And I'll never forget how powerful that was because, you guys, that was like, I don't even know when that was. That was maybe two years ago. And just like seeing how far I've come in such a short amount of time, right? Your momentum truly does pick up. And it's so cool. This is not me trying to flex in any sort of way, but it's like, it is so cool to be in a point where I really, really get it. I really feel so in flow and so in trust of everything and how it's all unfolding. And, you know, in a circumstance or in a situation where a lot of people might be freaking out or like, really tethered to the earth plane, I've never felt so sure. And it's so true, like without a vision, the people perish. When you don't have a vision, like it's so easy to get swept up in the stream of doubt, in the stream of uh, just confusion and like bumping around and just fear and anxiety and insecurity. But when you are tapped into that vision that is provided for your higher, from your higher self, which is provided from your future self, your future self beckoning you along your path, beckoning you towards greater and greater uh, levels of embodiment, of soul expression, it's like 
you don't know how, but you just know, <laughs> you just know that it will. And that's literally like goes hand in hand with like, you know, that's what it means to be a powerful creator being is because like you have so much conviction, right? It's like, I just listened to this awesome audiobook uh, portion. Uh, Brian Scott is an awesome YouTube channel, such great content. But I was listening to a Neville Goddard piece about the power of prayer and what it is. And it's like, you're not praying for it to happen. You're praying from it, right? From that perspective of it happening. And the goal as you, the goal, as you progress on your divine destiny, it's like you already know you're living your highest timeline because you can feel you're tapped into it. So you really get to a place where it's like, okay, that will, will be nice when like, if it's meant for my message to reach more, reach more people, but I just know already the feelings that I'm feeling now, like the only reason I would want to be any further than I am is because I would feel like I would feel like this that I'm feeling now, but I'm feeling it now so I can enjoy it now. <laughs> so you know what I mean? So like you already know you're merged with your highest timeline, uh, regardless of what um, what part of that timeline has actualized itself in physical reality, right? So I've just, I'm just in, in so much awe of like what a beautiful year this has been for me. Like again, not flexing or anything because there have been some monumental hurdles, some huge challenges that have busted me wide open, but left me like the, the most free I've ever, ever felt like versions of self that I always imagined but was like actually not sure if I could ever like embody and step into. So I don't know who needed to hear this, but someone obviously did. Like it, it truly, truly continues to get better. It truly continues to feel better and limitless and beautiful. And you know, this is just another message from one aspect of the creatress to another aspect of self. Um, because at the end of the day, it's just like, you know, we're here to wake up the other lions, right? We're not necessarily here. Someone sent me this meme. We're not necessarily here to wake up the sheep. We're here to wake up the other sleeping lions. So if you're drawn to this, I believe that you two are one. <laughs> uh, not to call anyone sheep, because I feel like we all have that lion within us, but we're all, all at different aspects of um, knowing ourselves to be a lion versus a lamb. And there are a lot of people that still believe themselves to be the lamb, you know? And more people are on that cusp of being like, wait a second, <laughs> wait a motherfucking second. <laughs> darn it, darn it. I was like, is this one that I'm not gonna drop an F-bomb? <laughs> We'll see if we get there. Who cares? Um, but yeah, sending you guys lots of love. I hope this finds you well. We'll talk very soon.